Hello and welcome to another episode of the Pen Quiz Show. Last week it was crazy because it was the final episode of August and the winner of the first ever the Pen Quiz Show was Edmund. And Edmund, it was a really, it was a really uh, fair battle, but eventually he won, so that was uh, was crazy. But today. We start the Pen Quiz Show of September and we have three new participants and it's going to be an amazing quiz show again for September as well. Uh, in short, the Pen Quiz Show is quite easy. I have 10 questions regarding pens and things like that. And the participants, they will write down their answers on a piece of paper with their favorite pen and they show us the answers. There's one jury member, that's me. It's not possible to discuss anything with the jury member. It's just, you know, if I say it, it's so, so uh, that's quite easy. Let me introduce the first three participants of September. The first one is Douglas Redburn, aka Inquiring Minds on YouTube. Then we have Hemingway Jones, aka Tim. And last but not least, it's Claire Coco. She's here as well to battle with the guys. So, uh, yes, welcome to the show, guys. Uh, Doc, can you tell a little bit about yourself? Hi, Yost. I'm so glad to be here on The Price is Steep. <laughs> <laughs> I love pen quiz shows. I'm going to fail. I know I'm going to fail. My name's Doug. I'm from Inquiring Minds. I'm in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Canada. And uh, my pen today actually came in this box you know, which is from the, the world's oh, greatest uh, pen like retailer box. with the greatest hair, uh, Yoast Applebaum. And I'm not saying this to influ influence the judges in any way at all. Uh, these are just well-known facts, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> the, oh, the pen in the box. The pen in the box is this, Pininfarina. And I actually thought he was sending me a pen in oatmeal or, or cream of wheat or something. And it actually should be called a pen and Ferrari because this is like a race car, an Italian race car of a pen. Beautiful. It's the PF2, and it has a Visconti-like magnetic cap, which has become a real fidget spinner for me. But that's my pen for today's quiz show. It's really nice. So when you get nervous and when I ask a question, you can play a little bit with the clip. Really nice, really nice. I don't want to be caught playing uh, with the pen. All right. Tim Steiner, a.k.a. Hemingway Jones. Certainly, Yos. Yourself. Thanks for having me. I'm really excited to be here, hoping I do well. Um, I am Hemingway Jones, and I live in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And the pen I will be using today is the Mont Blanc Egyptomania. So I can't play with too much here. I'm actually hoping I don't lose the cap. But it's a lovely pen with a very soft nib, so hopefully it'll bring me good luck today. It will be. It will be. Uh, and Claire, welcome. Welcome on the show. Claire, can you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm yourself? Claire Coco. I'm from Singer Island, Florida. And I'm a pen collector. <laughs> and if you can't go to the <laughs> Dutch pen show, the next best thing my pen of choice today is the Dutch Pen Show exclusive Leonardo Tulip Fields. And I absolutely love this pen. So this is what I'm going to be using today. Hopefully it will bring me luck. <laughs> it's very nice. It will definitely bring you luck for sure. All right, guys. It took long enough. Let's go to the first question. Are you guys yep. ready? <laughs> because the first question is... In which city is Jacques Herbin based? We'll reveal all at once. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Please show me the answers. I see Paris. I see Paris. Uh, what do you have, Hemingway oh, Jones? Sorry. I cannot oh, see it really, there we really clear. Paris. What does it say? Is my handwriting that bad? Yeah, Paris, thanks. amazing. <laughs> I'll try Congratulations. To all three of you have nice. points. All through, all three of you have points. Congratulations. Very well done. All right. That's a great start, actually. Yeah. You know, Ooh. everybody got points. That's great. All we need is one. Um, let's right? go to at the least, question. At least now we can save face. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. All right, let's go to question number two. Because in what shape are the Parker Sonnet clips? So in which shape are the Parker Sonnet clips? Please show me the answers. It is indeed in an arrow shape. <laughs> Very well done, guys. Very well done. Can I tap out now? <laughs> That'd be perfect. The, the stress. <laughs> this, is this is easy. This is easy. All right, all right. Let's see if we can spice oh, boy, up the questions a little bit. Because uh, the next question will be a little bit more difficult, I hope. Because what is the brand name Montegrappa after? Ooh. All right, show me the answers, please. Wait, wait. What do you have there, Claire? Grappa, the wine or the liqueur, whatever. I have no idea. The grappa and wine. Oh, no, the that's in. Like that's it. not good. Doc, what do you have? Grappa. I don't know where that is. Perfect. And what do you have? Uh, I wrote Hemingway a place Jones? in Italy. Because isn't it based in like Barnabas de Grappa or something? De Grappa, yeah. That's yeah, it. something like that. It is. It is. It's really broad. But unfortunately, I cannot give you points for that. The only correct answer is the mountain, the Monte Grappa, the mountain which is one thousand seven hundred seventy-five oh, yeah. million nice. meters high. So, uh, I got it Doc, right. You, yeah, well uh, done. Just guess. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, very good, Doug. Well done, well done. Yes. All right. I know that, Claire, you were in French uh, or in France uh, a few weeks ago. But let's see if you know this question. Because what is the French word for fountain pen? Uh. So please write it down. I need more time to write here. <laughs> No worries, you get some extra time. I totally guessing. I have no idea. Le plume. I have no idea. I did. I did. Le plume. It's close. It's close. Doug, plume. what do you have? I did fonte plume. Plume. Yes. Fountain plume. It's it's really close, guys. But I cannot give any points because the correct answer is stilo plume. Uh, so it's stilo like plume. it's it's close, but it's it's not it's not the it's not what the full answer. So. It's not steel. Yes, right? yes, yes. I'm sorry, guys. I have to be a little bit strict. You know, you. It's yeah. Okay. It's tough. It's close. Right. It's mm -hmm. close. All right. Let's move forward to question number five. Which of the following pens is not a Leonardo pen? Is it A. The Furora, B. The Momento Zero, C. The Momento Magico, or D. The Furora Magico? So once again, we have A, Furora, the Momento Zero B, C, Momento Magico, and D, Furora Magico. Please show me your answers. X, I see D, D, and Hemingway Jones, you also have D, right? That's correct. The, the Furora Magico is not the model of uh, Leonardo. <laughs> it should so, be. Very it well done. Be, maybe. Right. Yeah. All right, let's have a look at, at the score uh, where we are right now. I see two, uh, two participants with uh, three points. It is Hemingway Jones and Claire Coco. And there's one person, it's Duck, with four points. So he's leading, but we're just halfway and a lot of things can happen. So uh, let's move forward to question number six. Claire Coco already has the Leonardo Dutch pen show pen. But does she also know what is the color of the Kaweco Dutch pen show special edition pen? All right, guys, show me your answers. Yeah. It's yellow. And what do you Gold. have, Doc? Gold, yes. Yeah, it's, it's indeed it's yellow mm. gold. So unfortunately, it's not blue. Hemingway Doc. Jones. But uh, Doc and Coco, you deserve some points. Yes. <laughs> nice. <Far behind. laughs> 
Come on. I should have gone it. to the Dutch pen show. Yes. All right. Question number seven is about Montblanc. Which Montblanc collection is inspired by the world of aviation? So which standard Montblanc collection is inspired by the world of aviation? Please show me your answers. I have no idea. What do we have? The Petit Prince? Yes, but it's not it's not it's not a standard collection, unfortunately. What do you have, Doc? The Wright brothers. <laughs> <laughs> it's also know. not the correct answer. And what do you have, uh, like Tim? Starwalker, isn't there one like that? Skywalker, Starwalker, something. That's correct. That's the only correct answer. Wow. Uh, Hemingway Jones. Uh, I don't so know how I pulled that one on out. Track. Oh no. Yes. Very Thank well you. done. All right. Let's go to the next question. Question number eight already. Which nip have a thicker downstroke and a thinner side stroke? So which nips have a thinner downstroke? Sorry, have a thicker downstroke and a thinner side stroke. How do we call these nips? What do you have, Stop. Douglas? What do you have, Hemingway Stop. Jones? That's the correct uh, answer, guys. I... Yes, 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 yes. Very well done. Very well done. All right. Let's go to question number nine. Because uh, Pelican has every year has their color of the year. They do this beautiful Edelstein ink and they also launch a matching fountain pen. But what is the color for 2023? Oh, no. So what is the ink of the year of the Pelican Edelstein ink and fountain pen of 2023 of Pelican? All right, guys, show me your answers, please. I see a rose oh, quartz. That's a good one. Rose quartz. I had amethyst. And what do you have, Amethyst? I wrote Jones? amethyst. I, I didn't remember. No, Ooh. unfortunately not. Unfortunately not. So Claire, you have a point. Douglas, you have yes. a point. Very well done. All right. Let's move forward to question number 10. It's already the last question. Oh. So uh, guys, pay some attention because I'm going to show you an image of a fountain pen and I just need the answer of the uh, brand name and the model name. That's oh. enough uh, to earn some points. If you only have the brand name, it's not correct. Here we see the picture of the pen. It's very clear what is the brand name because it's literally saying on the box. But what is the name of the model? Show me your answers, please. No. <laughs> no clue. That was not the, that was not the name of the model. No clue. What do you have, Doc? I have the diplomat pen. <laughs> Diplomat pen, yes, name. very well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs> and what do you I have? I did the diplomat. Hemingway Jones, what I do you the have? Diplomat Magnum, because it's the only name I know from them. Yeah, it's really close, but it's not the correct yeah. answer because the only correct answer is the diplomat Nexus. Mm. So unfortunately, no <laughs> points <laughs> giving here. <laughs> Let's go to the final score. Are you guys ready? Oh, God. Yeah. Because. We have a winner of this. Of, we have a winner of this episode. Actually, the winner has seven wow. points, and is the one and only Douglas. Hey. Congratulations! Yeah, Doug. Good job. You will well go done. to the next you, episode. But unfortunately, we also need one person to drop oh. out. Uh, but both Hemingway Jones and Claire Coco, you both have five points. Uh -oh. So. We need to have a tiebreaker question here. And Definitely. the tiebreaker question is quite an interesting mm. one because I'm going to ask you in which year a certain company is founded. Oh, no. And the person who's closest, uh, you know, that person wins. And unfortunately, the other one loses and have to drop out of the 
series. Um, and hopefully you don't have like the same answer <laughs> because that would be horrible. Then I have to find a new question. All right, let's go. In which year was Monte Grappa founded? Oh. So we already know where the name of Monte Grappa came from uh, because that was question number three. But in which year was the name Monte Grappa founded? All right, show me your answers. Claire, you have 19. 10. 10. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes. And Hemingway Jones, you have 19. 15. 19, 19, So the correct answer is Douglas, you're right. It's 1912. <laughs> so congratulations, Claire. You are the closest. It's, it's, it was really close. It was really close. It was only one year, but, congratulations, uh, congratulations Claire. Yes. Well, yes very well game. done. Very well done. And Hemingway Jones, I think you deserve an applause as oh, well you. because, you know, five points, it's like, yeah, well, it's 50% correct. Hand. That's not so bad. It's, yeah. Thank you. It's it really well done. It's really well done. All right. So it's, uh, it's clear. Next week, we will see Claire Coco and Douglas Redburn again. Uh, I would like to thank Hemingway Jones to joining thank us. You. Thanks uh, for having me. It's amazing. Uh, the Pen Quiz Show episode. It's it's sad to leave to see him leave now, but yeah, it is. Sad. It is. Um, hopefully, we will see him around. Join him on his YouTube channel so you can see more of him, because yeah, we, you will not see him again on the Van <laughs> Show, unfortunately. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comments below how many questions you had right. Uh, if you had more questions right than Hemingway Jones. You could have joined us here, but um, yeah, it's sad to, to see Hemingway Jones leave. So let's say bye-bye to Hemingway Jones. And next week we see Claire, Coco and Douglas again. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you won't miss out on an episode. And we see you back next week with a new episode. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you all.